Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great larger travel trailer destination trailer style camper from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to review a 2009 Palomino Puma by Forest River. This is the model number and I believe I've got this right, 39 PTQSS. This is a 40 foot long travel trailer. Uh, destination trailer, it's got the sliding door, it's got two slides, or electric refrigerator. Um, very, very affordably priced destination trailer for only $14.9. And what I like about it compared to most of them in this price range that you find, or the very few you find in this price range that are still in good shape, this one's not been smoked in. No pet odors. But anyway, guys, 40 feet long, delivery is available and it's free up to 100 miles one way. And um, it's got two slides, both on the same side. It is a two-bedroom model with bunks, so it can sleep the whole family. You know, this is ideal for, for a family. Uh, Semi-permanent or permanent residence, ideal for uh, to set up on a permanent lot somewhere. I know a lot of people buy a lot in the mountains or close to the beach or um, just anywhere, really. And this would be ideal just to have something to take and leave and just have something to drive back and forth to. Deer camp, you got six separate beds in this thing. Ideal for uh, if you've got some hunting property and you've got some guys that want to go in on, on a camper like this and, and have six separate beds and so nobody's got a bunk together. So it's got definitely got a versatile floor plan. 50 amp electrical service. You know, not beat up. The the stripes are not peeling. They're not cracked. I mean, to be an 11 year old camper, this thing's actually in well above average condition. Got the deep 36 or probably 42 inch slides from the looks of them. So it's got the deep slides. Gives you a lot of square footage on the inside. All one level. You know, you only got steps going in and you know, hold the total inside, there's, it's all one straight level and like a fifth wheel. Came out of South Carolina, got the big awning, outside speakers, sliding glass door makes it ideal if you've got a deck or something like that to go up to it. You do have an auxiliary door here in the back that goes to the master bedroom and it does have a king bed in the back. And guys, you're looking at it in the rough, just how it came in. So, um, got the six gallon DSI water heater, double axle, and like I said, weighs about 77, 7,800 pounds. Got a little, a few little dings here on the side. I just noticed probably from hell, if I had to guess, or no, not really, because that's only on one strip right here. It's got those little dents. I don't know what happened there. Certainly nothing that's going to affect you using this uh, camper in any shape, form, or fashion. Let's walk inside while my lights are still on. I'm just on a jump box. so. And guys, this thing's all original. I mean, the carpets haven't been changed. Linoleum hasn't been changed. I like the multi-room setup. It's got a great residential feel. Got a sleeper sofa that makes a bed, a sofa, uh, sofa makes a bed, table booth makes a bed. So in the middle area right here, you can sleep four if you need to. And it's got some nice features that, that really say long-term use. You've got the four burner stove top, the bigger oven. You know, this isn't a residential stove top and oven is gas, but it's a lot bigger than what you find in your standard RV. Microwave, electric refrigerator. And guys, contrary to popular belief, RV refrigerators are not designed for everyday use. A lot of people don't know this. Um, they're not; they're they're designed for occasional use, maybe one month a year. Um, that's why they go out so often, because people use them every day, and they just wear out. The cooling unit develops thin spots and leaks ammonia gas out, and you've got a bad fridge, and you're talking. You know, for a small fridge, fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars to replace. For a large refriger uh, RV refrigerator, you're talking four or five grand. Where electric refrigerator is designed for everyday use, just like your one at home. Um, it gets colder a lot faster, um, and it is a whole lot. It's it's a lot 
less money to replace if it goes bad and it lasts longer now is it designed to be ran when you're hauling this camper down the road no the people that designed this camper knew that more than likely whoever bought this big a camper is not going to take it to the lake for the weekend to go camping it's going to be set up somewhere permanent semi-permanent and not going to be used very often and that's why they put the electric fridge because once you're set up plugged into power that thing will cool off quick but anyway you do have a nice 110 fan in here and i like the multi-room setup you've got your living kitchen area right here in one room you go through that you got your bathroom you go through another door you got your bedroom but we'll start in the front and look at the uh, second bedroom so you sleep four in here in two separate beds you got a place for a tv right here too as well and a stereo with inside and outside speakers but in the front bedroom you've got an, a, a second table booth that'll make a bed for one person you've got bunks that can sleep two so you can sleep three in here fairly comfortably got your own closet you can put your small tv in here if you want to um you know really storage everywhere i mean i don't see any wasted space by no means i uh, even got a dirty clothes chute that goes into the belly of the camper because you know more likely if you're staying in this thing with kids they're going to be up here they're going to go through dirty clothes like crazy so you can they got a place to dump them instead of the floor you know i don't see any signs of water damage in here i don't smell any odors in here no smoke no pet odors no mildew odors nothing like that i like the fact you've actually got solid doors instead of curtains for privacy nice woodwork around the slide we're going to walk through here into the master or really the only bathroom it's got a huge bathroom guys um big stand-up shower with a small tub for kids um skylight you can see everything looks great around the skylight no you know that's the number one place you want to see because those skylights if they've been exposed a lot will crack leak and leak around the edges but you can see the medicine cabinet got a nice tall roof this thing i didn't look the specs up guys but I'd say this thing's probably six foot ten roof, maybe even seven feet. And you do have a stack washer and dryer hookups in here. They obviously never had one. They've used it for a closet, but we can install you one if you feel like you have a need for one. Uh, let us know. We'll get you a, a really good price on installing one for you. And you can step here to the master bedroom. Of course, again, you've got another solid door right here. It's just on a slide instead of a curtain or a, a hinge which is nice because you've got this huge rear bedroom with a king island bed pillow top mattress um and guys just a reminder i know a lot of people myself included always replace a mattress when i buy an rv it's just a thing of mine i don't have to do it i know that but it's just something i choose to do and if you ever want a quote on, uh, on a new mattress on any of the rvs that I do videos on or, or anything on our lot, let us know. Guys, we've got a great connection with a local mattress source. I know RVs have oddball size mattresses, but I can get you a, a comfortable mattress fit to the exact dimensions within a few days at a pretty affordable price, you know, especially considering um, what they cost at mattress stores. And then you have to buy one that's too big for the frame because a house king is going to be bigger than a camper king. But if you ever wanted a mattress for this one or any other one out here, let me know and I'll be happy to get you a price on that. And it looks like it just takes a few days for them to build it. Uh, here in the bedroom, big closet, drawers, you got your own entry door. The carpet in here is original. It's not trampled down. It's not stained. It's not bleached. It's Guys, who's ever had this thing has not been a live-in unit. And that's actually kind of hard to find. And use destination trailers and that's why i don't get that many of them because when i get when i see one that has got obvious signs of heavy live-in use i kind of stay away from it and this one has none of that folks uh linoleum's original looks great i mean and especially what i'm selling this unit for guys this is an actual bargain 2009 palomino puma 39 pt q s s i believe it's uh like i said two slides two bedrooms 
big bathroom, big kitchen, big line. Everything about it's big for an RV, except the price. $14,900, guys. That's no extra fees. Fourteen nine plus applicable sales tax. Includes many extras you do not get at other RV dealerships without paying thousands of dollars extra for. If they even offer it. Guys, we go through our world famous four page inspection process that's done after purchase. So everything's fresh, checked out. Nobody else has been in it after we're done with it. Waiting on you. Take it right to the campground start using it. We go through a four-page inspection process after work. I will put a link, or after you purchase it, I will put a link in the video description below, as well as a couple of other handy links. Uh, one will be to our handy tow guide that you can figure out what your vehicle can tow. And another link will be to our website's destination trailer page, which is what this camper is, technically. Um, not a park model. Park models, you don't see them very often. You got to have special permits to move park models. They're 12, 13 foot wide. They have their, they have their own. You have to buy a separate HVAC system for them. Um, they're they're basically mini mobile homes. A destination trailer, which a lot of people call them park model by mistake, is a big travel trailer that's designed to be towed behind a regular pickup truck. No permits, no wide load permits at all needed. And uh, at under 8,000 pounds, this is actually something you can tow with, with more modern, equipped uh, half-ton trucks. You know, always verify what your truck can tow, of course, before buying an RV. And I've got that tow guide to help you with that. Of course, you always want to verify with your uh, vehicle dealer service department to verify what my tow guide says, since it is a third-party service deemed reliable but not guaranteed. Um, and if you got questions about using it, give us a call. My salespeople will be happy to, to help you through it. No obligation. It's for you, of course. And it can even show you everything I have on the lot that you can tow with your vehicle. And it also accounts for food, luggage, water, and propane. That's something, you know, there's more to figuring out what your vehicle can tow than just looking at the dry weight. Because you're going to add stuff to that dry weight. Um, of course, I know there's no exact way to figure it, but... Just depends on how much stuff you like to carry with you, I guess. And this is all fully self-contained. You know, we're park models or not, a destination trailer. It's got your sewer tank, your water tanks, your gray water tanks, which you can remove them if you want to if you're setting it up at a park somewhere. Um, so it's essentially a big travel trailer, but just designed for more permanent use. But anyway, guys, 14.9, this thing won't, won't last long. And I've got a couple of others in under 20 grand and, and use destination trailers and i'll try to get down here and and shoot videos on them over the next week or so um as well as some other motor homes and stuff like that we just gotten in so i um, just thought i'd point this out because i've had a lot of calls lately uh people wanting something to live in holidays are coming up they want something for family to stay in um here you go guys if you got in-laws or, or elderly parents or elderly relatives that need to come live with you but still want their own independence, guys, you try to build a two-bedroom addition with a bathroom, a kitchen, a lounge, its own heat and air system, water system, and all that. You try to build that onto your house in addition to your house for $14,900. Guys, you can't even lay the foundation for that. And here's something here, guys, that you can use even after they move out. You can use for a camper, use for some property, uh, sell it. I mean, you know, there's so many things you can do with this camper. If you're, you know, why rent an apartment? I mean, my gosh, folks, apartments are $800 to $1,000 a month in this area of the country, and they're a lot higher than that in other areas. For fifteen grand and a lot rental, or if you've got family or friends you can stay at, heck, you, what you're going to pay and lose on rent and a year and a year and a half of renting an apartment will pay for this thing and have the title in hand and you got something you can sell trade use something that's yours and, and you can own it you go rent an apartment for 18 months you spend eighteen thousand dollars on rent and at the end of 18 months you've got nothing to show for it absolutely nothing it's just money just to keep a, just to have a place to stay but nothing not building any equity nothing to show for it so Anytime you can buy a nice camper that you can live in for fourteen nine, and that's what you're looking for, how can you go wrong? You can underpin it. You can do so many things to it, guys. I mean, uh, these are a little better insulated than standard travel trailers. 
like I said, they are designed for a more permanent use than a standard travel trailer because, you know, a lot of people don't like to hear that, guys, but your average motorhome and um, your average travel trailer is not designed for full-time use. This is. And it hasn't been a live-in unit, which, or does it appear to be a live-in unit, which for this price range is something very rare. Um, so definitely got a lot of pluses going for it. 14.9 wheel trade, here's everything you get. Of course, like I said, you get that world famous four page inspection process that I'll put a link below in the video description. Read it, study it, you're gonna be impressed. There's not another dealer in the country that's gonna take a camper like this, sell it for 14.9 and go through and guarantee all those systems to work. And if anything on that list is found not to be working, we're going to fix it, repair it, replace the part at no additional cost to you, no matter what it cost us. To back that up, we and this is all in writing, by the way, we, we buy you a 90-day nationwide easy care warranty accepted at pretty much any certified repair facility nationwide. Um, great warranty, the best in the business for an aftermarket service contractor warranty. You get a 90-day with this, you can extend it very affordably. If you want to quote on a year or two years of coverage or more, give us a call. My salespeople will get you a quote. And the, the premium depends on the deductible and all that stuff you choose. But that's, you get the 90-day warranty. Uh, you get a full uh, inspection done after purchase, and we clean it up inside and out, do a final walkthrough if we're happy with everything. We'll call you to set up an appointment to pick up your new-to-you Palomino Puma. Once you arrive here at the appointed time, the tech that checked it out, or my walkthrough expert Preston will go through this camper with you, and you can record them with your phone or camera. We're going to show you how to operate everything, show you everything works, show you the repairs that had to be made, uh, answer any questions you have, tips, tricks, and pointers. If you're taking it with you, we'll help you hook it up to your vehicle. We do have uh, distribution bars and sway controllers in stock, and if you've got questions about safety equipment for your vehicle, uh, give us a call. Tell us what you're towing with, what it's rated for, and we'll give you our professional recommendation and on what kind of safety equipment you need. Uh, of course, everybody looking at a, to buy any kind of tow camper needs to go ahead. If you don't already have one installed by the factory or by somebody else, get you a good brake controller installed um and then have the right plug on the bucket if you got questions about that give us a call that's two things you can do and you'll be a step ahead whether you buy from us or not and anything else you need like weight distribution hitches a variety of those we can help you out and give you a good price on and install it for you and show you how to use it for way less than the other guys i was reading uh, i was talking to actually talking to a customer the other day and we sell uh just for an example we sell a thousand pound uh, trunnion bar distribution hitch which is sway control bar and and trailer ball and everything else installed for 500 bucks they uh the big dealer ripoff world actually charged them almost a thousand dollars for the exact same thing same brand same uh weight and everything thousand bucks we do it for half price of course, you know, you go over there and look at a camper like this, you're going to spend 25 grand by the time they add all the ridiculous fees. Our price is 14.9 plus applicable sales tax, no extra fees, with a warranty and inspection, and so much more than you get anywhere else, guys. We give you 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time to be used in a 12 month period at select RV resorts nationwide. Um, we give you instructional DVDs, we give you an RV starter kit with all your camping essentials. Other RV dealers, you buy a used camper, you might get a sewer hose at, at best. Most of the time, you get nothing. First thing you got to do is either go in their parts store, spend 100 bucks, buy everything you need, or go to Amazon or Walmart or something like that. We give you all that stuff, folks. Brand new in a five-gallon bucket. So, you know, we try to take care of every need that we can short of loading your family up and food and luggage. And... Um, like I said, we offer delivery service free up to 100 miles one way. And if it's uh, if you need longer range delivery, give us a call. All we ask you to do is cover our expenses. In other words, if it costs us $714 to deliver this thing, ever how many miles you live or where you want to keep it at, we charge you $714. Whatever it costs us 
in fuel um, and paying my driver his wage for doing the drive um, and whatever that cost is folks that's what we charge him. you know if you have to stay in a hotel room we'll, we'll add that to it as well and guys you know we were very fair on that um, keep in mind my drivers have thousands and thousands of towing miles under their belt you know none of them are really new drivers I mean they've I mean one guy's been with us for many many years in fact one of the guys is my brother-in-law and he's been doing this a long time so um, definitely you're going to get experienced people delivering your camper or if you want to you know if you need help putting it on a like a place like uship.com I'll help you out with that get you a quote on that I mean um, you know sometimes you can get it done a little cheaper since you're only paying one way because you you know when we send somebody out we got to pay to get them back home um, or the fuel to get them back home a lot of times on you ship you can let's say you live 2,000 miles away and they, there's something there they have to pick up they'll just charge you one way and then go pick up what they got to pick up there and bring it and charge the other person to bring it to wherever they're taking it to so logistics I guess but you know and I and you ship I've had good experience with them I've had bad experiences with them it's kind of like a rolling the dice you might get a, a good number you might not or a good driver and you might not but anyway if you've got any questions about any of this folks again 706-965-7929 is our phone number call before coming to look to verify it's available keep in mind i've got a couple of others of these under 20 grand um i'm gonna have this video posted everywhere this ad's gonna be posted everywhere a lot of people's gonna see it guys right now uh big travel trailers are pretty hot uh people coming in family coming in for the holidays boom built-in guest house right here <laughs> I mean, and plus so many other uses you can use for it. <coughs> if you got any questions, folks, give us a call. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I try to post something every day, but they about got away from me. I've been pretty busy today with my other duties here, but I was able to at least get this one on. Um, check out my website. I got a great selection. I got the largest inventory of used RVs of all types, motorhomes, towables, and more. Of any dealer in a 500 mile radius i got over 150 in stock guys and we sell these things like crazy because of our prices our straightforward selling i mean easy simple done is is our sales process you get all those benefits for 14.9 plus tax easy simple done and if you want a discounted price you want to take it as is and and not get the warranty not get the inspection the orientation free delivery or none of that stuff give us a call we'll get you a quote uh, an option B as is price but I do highly recommend before you do that you come and look at it or have somebody come look at it for you on your behalf um, that way everybody's on the same page it is a used RV after all it's not going to be perfect but for 14 9 and a 2009 model this is in my opinion a solid eight and a half nine out of ten uh, as far as condition and that's that's pretty high up for an 11 year old camper Come look at it. Come visit with us. We're the only dealership around. You can simply park, get out, and look at our massive inventory without going through a sales office, without being escorted by a salesperson. During business hours, everything's marked. Prices on it. Prices on all of our ads. We don't play this call for price game like other dealers do. I mean, I thought that went out in the 90s, but apparently not. Um, Price is what sells them, guys. We know you're going to get online. We know you're going to look this particular year, make and model up, compare prices, compare condition, compare benefits. For fourteen nine, you're going to see this is one of the best deals out there for this year, make and model camper, with all those benefits, which by themselves are worth quite a bit of money, and the fact that you know that unlike a for sale by owner, you're buying one that's completely checked out, ready to go after purchase. You know, you, you try to get it for sale by owner to do that. That can cost them thousands of dollars. They're not going to do it. You know, you buy a for sale by owner camper, first thing you want to do is take it to an RV dealer, a professional RV dealership to have it professionally inspected to make sure it's safe and, and all the major systems function for you and your family to use it before spending the night. I do not recommend buying a for sale by owner camper without getting it inspected. The propane system checked for leaks. Guys, carbon monoxide can kill you. Propane leaks 
I mean, there's just so many what ifs, and you want it professionally checked before spending the night in it. Your family's safety and health is not worth risking just to save a few bucks. So if you don't buy from a dealer like us that does a complete checkout, make sure you get it checked out. Or if you buy for sale by owner, get it checked out before you start using it. Um, I've heard too many horror stories in the past, guys. And um, yeah, something definitely you want done. If you got any questions, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Sales at parkwayrvcenter.com is our email, and of course, parkwayrvcenter.com. Got a great and very informative website. You'll see a lot more information on the website than you see in the video. You'll see factory sales brochures, pictures, measurements, weights, uh, tank sizes, all the important information you need to make an informed decision is mostly on our website. If you want to apply for financing, which is available with approved credit and down payment, I have uh, credit apps available on our website you can fill out. I've got a 24-7 chat feature on our website. I have um, trade-in appraisal forms. We take just about anything of value in on trade. doesn't even have to be an RV, guys. be car, truck, boat, motorcycle, uh, classic car, guns, jewelry, local property. It can be, and so much more. I mean, we've traded for just about anything you can think of over the last 51 years we've been in business. And we're kind of like the show Pawn Stars. If you've got something besides an RV that you want to trade in, then I've got experts to call to appraise it for me. So keep that in mind. If you've got something oddball, I had a guy get mad the other day. He had a motorcycle to trade in. Guys, I don't know nothing really much about motorcycles, and nobody else here does either. We don't have a clue if it's worth $500 or $50,000. The guy got mad because I had to uh, get a hold of a couple of the uh, local motorcycle dealers around here that I do business with that buy my motorcycle trade-ins to get an appraisal and I couldn't give them an answer back in five minutes. I had to send pictures, wait for them to look at it and answer questions about it. And Sometimes it takes me a few hours, sometimes the next day before I have a number for you. So please keep that in mind. If it's not RV related, I, it's, not, it's not really my expertise. Um, I know a little bit about boats. Um, a little bit about guns, but anything else, I, I pretty much have to call the experts and get and get an appraisal on. So keep that in mind. Um, but thank you for watching. If you have any questions, call us, email us, and uh, look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.